getting ready to go live. Here we are. Welcome, everybody. I'm really excited to be back here again. It's been a while since I've been live giving my um, giving my own latest uh, thoughts on what is happening in terms of consciousness in the world. But I was really prompted to come to you today because this month um, from recollecting past years is the month of global forgiveness. And I remember so many years doing projects that had significant impact on what was actually happening in terms of uh, bringing this concept of forgiveness forward, the benefits of it, and why it is absolutely essential that each and every one of us starts to address forgiveness in our own lives. Now, today I'm going to be starting a brand new series, and this series I'm calling Free Will, Forgiveness, and Freedom, The Real Road to Liberation and Peace. So today I'm addressing a question that I think a lot of people have asked me in the past, and you might have even thought of uh, on your own. And that question is, is forgiveness really essential? And if so, why does it never call to me? So first off, we have to talk about the energy of forgiveness itself and why you might not be recognizing it when it is calling to you. I think that happens for a number of reasons, but probably for the most part, it's because a lot of people are really confused about what forgiveness actually is. So I look at it as an energetic transmuting of energy. But to put it in more understandable terms, it is a letting go of denser energies in exchange for higher vibrational frequency energies. As you know, um, I'm known as the heart shift coach. And the reason is, is that the process that I use for this transmutation of energy is my process of heart shifting. But today we want to simply look at the energy that is involved with that process of forgiveness so that we can understand why it goes unnoticed in most uh, cases. So what I have found in working with people is that the moment that they are confronted by a situation that is calling for forgiveness, what often happens is that they go on the defensive and right away they start to replay the event the situation or the interaction with the person and start to repeat the inner dialogue that they have had about that all along. So what happens is rather than searching for why this energy is coming up and what it might be asking for, there is a reversal and the energy goes back into the density. The density, of course, has been created from the past experience because it wasn't resolved. That energy was not brought into the light. So I know that this can be a lot to take in for our first interaction here. But I'm here because I want to share so much with you about what I have learned about this in the past year through my own forgiveness processes, as well as those that I've helped others to move through, to journey through as well. So think about that for a moment. How often has something come up where you've had an issue with someone in the past and you suddenly have that memory and you immediately go into that blame game, pointing fingers, shaming, guilting, and justifying your reaction. So 
The first thing that I want to emphasize is that when we're talking about free will, forgiveness, and freedom, which of course is the ultimate goal, we have to understand that what is required in this process, first and foremost, is your free will. Do you have the will to see things differently? Do you have the will to transform and transmute that energy? And do you have the will to let it go so that you can be free of it? So that's the question of the day. I'm going to leave that with you. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about more um, issues that are surrounding this free will, forgiveness, and uh, freedom, and what it takes to be on this journey, this true real liberation, and of course, the peace that is the result of all of that. What we're actually talking about, of course, is empowerment. And so to an Another empowering day. We'll be back here tomorrow talking about the same issues. And I look forward to hearing from you, your comments, your questions, and of course, anything that you want to share, maybe your own personal experience. So have a great day and let freedom ring. Bye-bye now.